Hey folks, welcome back to eMedia Coach. I'm going to show you how to create a menu for your WordPress website or a menu for your e commerce store. And not just a simple menu, but a drop down menu using WordPress. And this is really effective because it actually helps users narrow down on all the stuff you have on your website, whether it be products, it helps them narrow down on the content. For example, here, this is just two examples I've done. Um, so they can easily find the products they're after or they can easily find the information that they're after and therefore it increases conversion rates. So it's super important to have a, a menu in WordPress that is super organized and intuitive and allows your users to find exactly what they need. So let's go create our menu in WordPress right now. So into our WordPress dashboard, the first thing you're gonna to have to recognize guys is that you're going to have to have products that exist in various different categories. And now if you can see categories over here, you can look through your products and see what categories they fall into, for example. If that is if you want to add a drop down menu that segments all the various categories of your website. So for a clothing shop, it could be men, women, accessories, for example. In this instance, what I've done is just opened up a few products at random for the purposes of this demonstration. And what I'm gonna do is just add categories to these products. So for these ones, not only are they part of the groceries category, but we're just gonna say they're also part of superfoods. And we're gonna update that and you'll see why in a second. So it's totally fine for products to be part of multiple categories of your e-commerce store. And it works really, really well when setting up a drop down menu. So we'll just wait till that finishes loading. Okay, awesome. So now we've got products that fit into a range of categories. Now what we're gonna see if we refresh our product listings, so just products under all products, is that you'll see that the stuff we're selling falls under many categories and that's gonna help us create some of our drop-down menus. So now if we just go to a particular product and let's say we're gonna open up this one, it's part of the groceries category. Let's say we're gonna open up this one as well, which is part of the um, groceries and superfoods and this one here, which is part of juice. Now when you go to them, you'll see that you'll be able to, as a user, navigate to any one of these things here, the home page or the category section. So we're going to click on groceries in this instance. In this instance, we're going to click on, oh, it didn't come up. If it doesn't come up, that's okay. I'm going to show you how to do that. Here we're going to click on juice. Also, if you go to products categories, and then go to superfoods and view that. All we're after here is the listing page for all products that sit within that category. So this is the one for groceries. And you'll see the URL, yourwebsitestore.com forward slash category forward slash the name of that product category. Similarly for fruits. Similarly for juice. That's the category URL with products only that fit within that category. And for superfoods, these are the ones here that are applicable. Of course, some products can be part of multiple categories. That's totally natural for your e-com store. But now that we have this information, we're gonna use it. So I'm gonna actually just open the WordPress dashboard in a new tab. We're gonna keep these open because I want these URLs when we're creating our menu. So now the part about creating menus. Let's go to appearance and then click on menus. Here is all the menu items that already exist on the store. What we're going to do now is go to custom links. I want you to put a hashtag in the URL. Leave the link text blank. You'll see why I've done that in a second. And the link text we're going to say is products. And the reason I've left the URL as a hash is I don't want this particular menu item to be clickable. So if I go add to menu, I can now drag and drop that where I want. Make sure it's not indented under something else. So it's a sub item. 
make sure it's at the top level aligned to the left. You can always change or delete that particular um, navigation item like so. Now what we're going to do is we are going to look at each one of these category pages. We know that if a user goes to this URL, they're going to land on all products within this category. So whether it's men's, women's, food, you know, your e-com store will be consisting of multiple different categories and we want it to be easy for users to navigate to each one. So let's copy the URL for the first one. This one's called Superfoods. What we're going to do again is we're going to paste now that URL called Superfoods. We're going to enter the text called Superfoods. We're going to add to menu. Now we're going to drag and drop that here. But instead of being aligned to the left, we want it to be a drop down menu. So we're just going to drag it so it's indented. So it becomes a sub item of the item above it. In this case, products. Now we're going to do the same for the next two URLs. This one's called groceries. And then the last one. called juice. It's called juices, for example. Now we're going to want to drag these categories up and under the products tab. There we go. And hit save menu. Now let's refresh the site as a user would see it. And there you see our products. And because this theme supports drop downs, we're going to see now these entries that we've added. And like I said, our products is not clickable. The user cannot click on that. Of course, you can make it clickable and go to a particular page if you want that to happen. So instance, this here is essentially the drop down for all products. So effectively, I could actually move these three under all products and I'll do that in a second. But now from a user's point of view, they can go here and they can say, okay, what I want to search for. Oh, okay, I, I need some superfoods. They're going to click on that. And boom, just like that, they see all of the products listed that relate to superfoods. Now, of course, like I said, you can actually change things around. So say I wanted to add these things under all products. Um, that would be a good place. And I'll remove this here. All products is clickable. That's installed with WooCommerce when we created our e-com store. Um, yours probably is going to be similar. Save menu. There we go. We've got now an all products menu item, which is clickable. So the user can see all products or they can drill down into various categories that we've custom created so that it's easy for your store's customers. Now there are other things you can add to the menu as well. It doesn't, you're not restricted to this. For example, if you've created a blog, like I've shown you in a previous tutorial, for your e-commerce store, it's great to have a blog. Now the URL of our blog was our website forward slash, so I'm just going to enter that here, forward slash blog. I'm going to call that blog or our blog, for example. And that appears there. You can drag and drop that. Save and that will then appear in your menu. Of course, if you want, for example, not to have a very cluttered top menu, you can just, you can actually consolidate some of the items. So for example, our story, under our story could come our blog or about us. And we can save that. And there we are. Just like that, we've been able to create a drop down menu for our WordPress website. Now you can do this regardless of if you have a business website or an e-commerce store with WordPress, but just make sure that the design that you use, in other words, the theme supports the drop down menu functionality. 
just purely as an example, here is another WordPress store where I've added a drop down menu. You can see I've added a gallery as well, as well as I've divided the store into men's, women's, accessories. And so it's really easy for your customers to navigate through and narrow down on the products that they want to select. Therefore, increasing conversion rates and adding more profit to your bottom line. Simple as that. So I hope that's made it super clear on how you can leverage the drop down menu on a WordPress website. If you have any questions, ask below, but give this a thumbs up and I'll see you in the next video.